Hey guys, Trev Christian here today. Welcome we're back with Fruit Baskets episode 16. Oh, pains me, we're getting already episode 16, and that means we don't have too many episodes left before we have to wait until the next season. In a joyful ride overall, though, last episode was Shigure just mainly helping out his bud and um, getting him away while the wedding was going off, um, Connor's wedding was going off. So I can respect Shig Shigure doing looking out for his bro like that and doing that. Nice moment between Toru. Kyo and Yuki on the riverbed but yeah overall very chilled episode a bit more slower pace and happier than the episode previous which was emotional um but this episode I'm, I'm expecting just more chilled just more hanging out with the friends and stuff I always appreciate your guys likes and comments on these videos like like I said it always makes it 10 times more enjoyable as well I'm glad you're enjoying this this is te definitely a remake do reboot done right for a series and after watching this it's made me want to feel like some other series to reboot like what guys like what sort of anime guys would you like to see rebooted like one of mine was Akira and Akira is actually getting a series reboot so I'm looking forward to see how that is and maybe I would love to see like I'm not watching Yu Yu Hakusho I want to watch the original but I wouldn't mind seeing a reboot of that with updated animation that would make me more intended to watch it but I'll probably still watch that anyway but yeah, enjoying this so far, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And let's jump into this episode. Ooh, I wonder if they're actually going to do an episode of The Mum's Youth. That would be pretty interesting. I'd love to see that. Zero interaction. The school's pool. How's she polluting it? I don't understand why we should have to share a pool with a weirdo. Fuck it, hell, guys. Years ago. The ring. She will kill you. She's adorable. Why can't you call her terrifying? You know, she has weird waves. Look at she's the only one in this school uniform. I was going to point out why is no one wearing this school swimming suit. Like her. <laughs> she just made me laugh. And I can't help it. I start bawling. She probably stands out. That's right. I actually I thought it would be wasteful to buy one when this one still fits. I love how that's her thought process. She's too innocent. Present from all of us, so I don't I, I don't know why, but why are these always fun episodes? <laughs> like a lot of romance show, the swimsuit one's always fun. Like, to tigers, Torador ones always stands out to me. Mm -hmm. Yay, more episode! Dude, this goes over my head. I'll just go for like hey, shorts and I'm done. What's cuter, bikinis or one pieces? Don't ask us. <laughs> the fact they brought them along makes it so much better because they're so awkward. Orange. <laughs> Sorry, Violet's the best color. Whoa, whoa, Yuki, calm down. I love how this is what they get passionate about. I guess she gets some nice things done for her. She has been given a lot of the series, not really received much love. Well, she has, but you know what I mean. Which swimsuit did you end up getting? You'll find out when she wears it. I mean, you'll probably go to the beach, right? Beach episode foreshadowed. I'm ready. We ladies should take a trip Telling you a beach episode, too. school festival, and then we've done the full circle, oh, and then school trip, and then we've done the full circle of romance anime. Did you meet in elementary school? A meal. My teachers didn't know what to do with me. Oh, is that her? Oh, that was her at the start then. Like it should be harder. Going bad's pretty easy. Didn't I expect that. I she looks so different. Gang, running around with a bunch of epic so she has a drunken father who doesn't socialise with her. Even in That's shitty. I love getting the fence have a feeling I know exactly what Kyoko's daughter must be like. No, you don't. Delinquent badass. <laughs> Shouldn't I have noticed another girl? Imagine if Toru was like that. Whatever. I gotta find this girl. That would be annoying. Okay. Okay. The dub actor for Tori does a fucking great job, I have to admit. I'm Toro Honda. Do you say Honda? Next thing I know, you're going to claim to be the Crimson Butterfly's daughter. Yes, I am. That was my 
mom's title back when she was still active. <laughs> That's how they met. You gotta be kidding. Heck, how lucky am I that I caught you on your way home? Hey, no, don't let me know the more. I'll be we'll sad. <laughs> Actually, before that, there's a classmate of mine here who really wants to meet you. Actually, does locate you make you more sad because oh, she right. seems like such a nice woman as well, the mom. This person really be her? Created this perfect image of Kyoko. I like how they're doing the past with them just chilling out and eating, just talking about it. And then I had the nerve to be mad because it wasn't real. I wanted her to be the person I'd imagined, not some nice mom. Pretty selfish. Of course, Kyoko smiled and took things in stride. Understandable though, with the whole she dad situation. Being selfish and you call me Uo-chan. That's your new nickname. Uga. Uh, just please stay and eat with us. I could say no okay, to her. I, uh, nah, I'm going home. Oh, come on. You must be hungry. And nobody cooks like my Tony does. I'm just okay. By the way. Oh, they're down to excuse. Oh, I can't believe <laughs> Oh, God, she's dead at the feet. Fuck. Great, but I really gotta go. No wonder Tony. It's quite surprised that Tony doesn't get a lot sadder than she is. I can respect the fact that stay happy. The crimson butterfly I idolized has turned into a domestic, overly friendly mom who can't stop loving on her dumb daughter. I can't Whoa. believe what a pathetic person you've turned into. <laughs> Sent to oh, after her. Wait, you forgot your mask. Don't call me that name like we're friends. Okay, calm down. You will be I don't though. Want anything to got that right. <laughs> This is the vibe I fit into. Ugh. Who do you think you are, bitch? You want to die, huh? I'll give you scars you'll never get rid of. Fuck this no. is where I belong. <laughs> that should just change straight away. I guess it's like a process. Like, to change who you are that quickly would have been a bit realistic. man told me to never come back. But he says that every day. <laughs> Thing is, they're the stupid... I need a... It's not a good pass so far. I'm actually enjoying it. My mom left us for some new guy. I was in the first grade. I've been living with my dad since then. Oh, don't hit us with the sad music. Is that the thing that's what people All turned out? Does is drink. No, my real dad fucking um, turned into alcoholic after his mum died. And he just literally just did that all the time. Do, do, do. Oh, we're going to get another part of that. That's good. I, like, I was actually interested in that. Glad it's going to spam across two episodes. So I generally thought it was going to be a chilled episode, judging by the thumbnail, but <laughs> I am watching the end credits scene, by the way, guys, I forgot to turn on the recording for. Well, our fight went well for him, didn't it? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, that was a surprisingly a, a really good episode. I thought it was going to be more of a chilled episode with just the swimsuit by him, but I'm glad we sort of went into her friend's past. I thought it was really well executed, actually. I think, like, I could sort of relate with the home life thing, and I really enjoyed the... That they didn't just she didn't just change the character straight away. I'm like it weren't just like oh she met Honda and then she changed into a nice person. It was like she met him. It's influenced that it's affected her clearly, but it's not changing straight away. And then I think next episode is going to slowly turn and show a change to how she is now. Uh, I really like how to show like do the mum in this series like because the mum we know the mum's dead so we don't get to know but we get to see flashbacks of her. And you kind of just feel more sorry for Toru like, the more you learn about the mum because like the mum seems such a lovely person like always like such a good mum. And like how much you could see how much Toru looked up to her and loved her, and then obviously with her dying, and like the more you watch it, I, I could see the show being a lot sadder on a re rewatch when you like some of Toru scenes, especially because you know she does hurt inside, but she doesn't ever say it. And like when it, like how, <coughs> how grateful she is as a person, stuff like that, and she obviously got a lot of stuff off her mum, and it's nice to learn more about the mum as well. But yeah, no, the friend's got a good past. So hopefully the other one has a good one as well. But I'm looking forward to learn more about him. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, hope to see you next week and peace.